Hello, and welcome to Labels with Erica. I may be a guest host, but I am still not Erica. So today we are going to talk about connecting your brother P-Touch D610BT label maker to devices. This includes your computer and your mobile device. So to start things off, we are going to talk about uh, setting up Bluetooth on your label maker. You're going to want to go to your label maker and on your label maker on the home screen, you're going to use the arrow keys and you're going to go over to settings. Once you see settings, you're going to hit OK. In the settings option, you're going to see Bluetooth. So once you see Bluetooth, again, press OK. At the top of that screen, it says Bluetooth on or off. So if you go into that screen by pressing OK, you can use your arrow keys once again, make sure that on is selected and then uh, click OK um, so that it turns on. Once it's on, you're gonna see a blue symbol on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen and that indicates that it is on. From there, on your mobile device, on the Bluetooth settings, uh, you'll be able to click on the um, label maker and connect it to your mobile device. Fun fact about me, I used to be a Jungle Cruise skipper at Disney World, and one of the jokes that I got to tell every single day was this. My parents are so proud <laughs> of my brother. Yeah, he's a doctor. I didn't have the patience for that. <laughs> but want to know what would really help them be really proud of me <laughs> if you like and subscribe all right now that we have bluetooth connected from our our phone to our label maker we're gonna go into the app now the app is called brother i print and label and you can get that from the app store when you open the app you can see that uh this first screen it's uh, three different templates that you can use. If you look at the top of, of your phone, you can see there are different template uh, categories. There's a ton of categories up there. So if you, if you want a specific label to be created, you can use one of those templates. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go through how to make our own label. Um, so we're not going to use those templates today. So at the bottom of your phone, you'll see uh, the blue button and it says new label. You're going to click new label. When that screen shows up, you'll see a blank label and you can type anything in there. We're going to type in uh, what we always type in and that is Erica. Once you're happy with what you have typed in, uh, you can go ahead and press done. Now, if you want to change the font, the size, all of those things, um, you can go to font, which is at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You can make it bold, you can make it italicized, you can do a variety of different things. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to change the font. Um, so you'll see the font um, kind of in the middle of your screen, right under the label. You see style, font, and properties. Just click on font and then you can choose from a variety of different fonts on there. We're going to choose this marker felt font today. Um, from there, we'll press done. Now, if we want to save our design, we can do that on here as well. At the top right hand uh, corner of your screen, you'll see save and print. So if you want to save it and come back to it later, you can just press save. But if you want to print it, you can press print. What we're going to do is we're going to press print. From there, you get a new screen. Uh, you'll see the printer. Um, so that is the label maker that you will be printing from. Uh, you can choose a variety of different things, including the number of copies. Um, the third section down says copies. Uh, from there, you can do multiple copies if you want to print more than one. We're going to stick with one. We don't want to waste the label tape. And what we're going to do is we're going to press print, which is at the top right hand corner. And then your label will print right out. So now we are going to talk about using the software on your computer. So when you pull up the software, you'll see that this is what it starts out looking like. So a good place to start is up here on the the top bar. Um, so you'll see that there's a text box, frame, image, symbol, clip art, shape table, barcode, that's a great place to start just depending on what you are looking to make. Um, so we're going to start with a text box. 
At this point, you'll see a little a cursor on the label. Um, you can type in whatever you want. We're going to type in Erica, like always. You'll see on the right hand side, that's where uh, you're able to change the font, change the style, the spacing, everything like that. If you want to change anything about your text, what you'll first need to do is highlight it. So we're going to double click on the text and we're going to change the font. Um, let's go down to this one. This one looks fun. Um, so as you can see, because we highlighted it, it changed the font. All right, so let's say we want to add a frame. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the frame section at the top, and uh, there's a variety of different options. There's a drop down menu at the top, and we're gonna go into the special frames. And from there, we'll scroll down and, oh, and we can see a cat. Um, so we're gonna add the cat frame, and you'll see that it adds a cat to your label. You can change the size of the text by simply moving these uh, dots, and then you can space it in the, in the frame. From here, let's, let's add a symbol. So there's symbols on here. There's quite a few. Again, there are drop-down menus. Um, now the symbols on on the on the computer are separated between two different areas So you'll see symbols, but you'll also see clip art now You'll see a variety of different options on both So just look through them as you can see on clip art. There are so many options. We're gonna go to animals and from there oh, Let's add let's add a lion this time if you want to print your label, all you have to do is go over here to the printer, um, select your printer, and then up here you can press print this layout and it will show up with the number of copies that you want. Uh, we're going to stick with one on this one. You can press print and it will send it right to your printer. And that concludes this video on how to connect your label maker to your mobile device and your computer. Tune in next time because next time we'll be talking about label tape management. This has been Labels with Erica. I am not Erica. See you next time.